Okay, so the local elections were on May the 4th, and may the 4th be with you, but never mind the results. Yes, the Conservatives did get a lot of seats, but the whole thing is the general election are coming, and it's about the councils, not the seats. And apart from that, it's also the fact that, you know, the Conservatives were hoping that rather than this local election be held, that it would be a general election with no time for anyone to have a manifesto and no time to do anything. The manifestos will be coming out, but also you can use this as information to see who was closest to winning against the Conservatives to remove Conservative seats. So you can see in your area, like, a four-week difference of how you might want to vote if you want to vote tactically to get rid of the Conservatives and Theresa May and the bargain basement Brexit where, yes, if she uses soundbites, we can use soundbites, Brexit is Brexit, bark! <laughs> Strong and stable government, bark! Mm, coalition of chaos, bark! <laughs> it's like, no, you, <laughs> you're not strong and stable. You just use sound bites and hot air. You don't live up to your promises. You don't live up to your own manifesto. You don't live up to anything. You just use sound bites and then you don't even want to debate on screen with the opposition because you have nothing behind you. You have no response. You just have pre-prepared responses that attack rather than actually deal with the issue you never actually answer the questions so Jeremy Corbyn has to keep answering asking the same questions over and over again which is actually strong and more stable than the Conservatives because they were the coalition of chaos with the Lib Dems where they actually fucked up the country pretty bad and they tried to hide it and then all the expenses scandals and talking about that what of 40-ish maybe more districts in Birmingham um Solihull Nearly a million pounds the Conservatives spent on the local election alone for campaigning. And that is nearly a million pounds that could be better spent elsewhere on NHS and services and, you know, paying all the things that the taxes would pay for and not cutting back and fucking over the poor. <laughs> like, yeah, um, this is the austere time where we have to make cuts, but only for you poor people, you know, we'll give tax breaks to the rich and um, oh if it comes to us being elected yeah we'll just spend as much as we like I mean nearly a million pounds yeah you lot could have spent nearly a million pounds on it if you wanted to quote the current um, Sunday politics today um, yeah they were saying oh any of the other parties could have spent that much if they wanted um, no if it's meant to be all spare time then we're meant to be saving money and you know we're already having a big deficit and we're not even going to pay that off in 2020 when we're meant to and you know in Brexit we're not even going to pay it off and we're going to have a huge bill to pay and it's meant to be very very austere times so you know the government's meant to be saving money so how can you justify spending nearly a million pounds in one district of Birmingham which is you know one of many districts across the country what is there over a thousand seats there's at least a thousand so yeah if you spent a million pounds in every district, <laughs> that's, wow, that's a big figure, that's over a billion, that's 10 billion American, or, you know, 10,000 million UK. Um, no, that, that amount of money would be better spent elsewhere, and, you know, on the NHS, on welfare, on the disabled, and you claim you're going to be for the disabled, and the poor, and the welfare, and sort out the problems but you know six thousand three hundred pounds when you've saved nearly 40 well over forty six thousand on me alone and you know that's on millions of other people that were fucked over by benefits cuts and you know illegal benefits cuts just in the name of savings and <laughs> lost applications and lost benefits applications because i found proof of that for that the there were so many lost or, you know, not correctly completed, apparently, and not having the proofs, because they lose the proofs, even though you send them via recorded delivery. And I was like, oh, no, no, it still didn't come, you can't prove it, even though you sent proof with recorded delivery, no, you can't prove that you've actually sent anything. And then, you know, they're just allowed to get away with it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a major problem. They only came in when the Conservatives came in. You know, it didn't exist before. It's only when the Conservatives were in and all these austere cuts that only happen to the poor people and all in the name of saving money for the rich so the rich get richer and the poor get poorer um no you know but um who are you gonna vote for are you gonna vote for jeremy corbyn 
don't think about it as the leader. You know, yeah, he's a stronger and more stable leader. He's more strong and more committed. He stays on his points. He stays on his issues. He keeps pushing them, even though there's so much opposition against him. He stays strong. He fights for what's right, even though so many people tell him to drop things and, you know, to do different things and be very different. And it's not his leadership. It's the people that won't get behind him in his party even though he's the rightfully elected leader and the majority of the party are with him at the moment and um yeah you know just get behind him and stop trying to undermine him and stop giving ammunition on the news and on press and so you know well you know we don't quite like Jeremy Corbyn and all this, well, you know, he's your rightfully elected leader that so many of the public have rightfully elected, quite a large percentage, get behind your leader with the issues that you, the country want him to support, so, yeah, or you can have a Brexit where we're going to be a low wage, low tax, low income, low hours, I mean, you know, zero hour contract, pathetic society that's going to be drowned into the country, and just shove your fingers in your ears and go la 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 no you know everything will be fine bollocks will it and you'll be sucking your own eggs when it comes to Brexit if you follow the Conservatives so I mean you've got your clear choices haven't you do you want Labour with all the policies that will actually help boost the economy boost wages boost income boost spending on the economy because the majority of the people, the, the, the poorer people, will have more disposable incomes, and the disposable income is what leads to a good society and leads to more spending and leads to happier people. And yeah, that's just the best way to do it. And then because there'll be more jobs created as a result, there'll be less people on job seekers and tax to go elsewhere. So, you know, then it'll go on NHS and other public services and all the other things. So. It's a smart way to play and getting rid of their hours contracts gives people confidence in their jobs and confidence in their hours and confidence in the society and confidence in the country and that makes a stronger and more stable country. Whereas you've got a bullshit air blowing whistle face. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's just, no, she's not strong, she's not stable, she can't answer a straight question. She just gives off hot air and sound bites and uh, so much of the country supports her and so many people associate with her with her fucking lying bullshitting hot air spouting shitheads I don't think that that's the majority of the country no you know I mean who are you polling <laughs> but no that's not the majority of the country and then we've got Wallace and Gromit who fucking took the West Midlands mayorship literally look at his face he looks like Morty Gromish and he's talking to the Prime Minister in the picture in the expression style and you know it's like how could we vote for that guy in this Labour constituency and well it becomes clear it's because like I said the Conservatives spent over a million pounds well not over just under a million pounds in Solihull alone and it's like you know yeah that, I mean sure the other Parties could have wasted so much money on getting, ensuring they get the votes, to waste even more money on a mayor that we don't really need. <laughs> you know, what the fuck's he gonna do? Bollocks all. And especially if he's contrary party to the party that holds the district. But yeah, I mean, that was such a waste of money. And, you know, oh, we campaigned and raised it. Well, why don't you campaign and raise it for the NHS and campaign and raise it to spend on services and campaign and raise it to spend on welfare? You know, if you're so for the people, campaign and raise this money for those issues. Don't campaign and raise it just to get yourself into party so that you can have a high-paid position for no one really wants you to have. <laughs> and then, no... That doesn't make sense. And, you know, you yourself, have some common sense. Do you want Theresa May to screw up the country or are you just going to be so stubborn that like, no, I don't like Corbyn? You know, just because he doesn't do all this childish 
banter and all the bollocks that you don't really need. He's a strong politician. He has strong issues and he fights for these strong issues and he stands up for the people and he listens to the people and he stands up for the people who really need standing up for, not for the wealthy people who don't need standing up for, who have enough money to survive a bargain basement Brexit, whereas the majority of the country is going to be fucked over by it. So, yeah, and even if you don't like the leader, if you support the policies, then you should vote Labour. If you don't like the Conservatives, you should really vote Labour to get the only opposition, because if you look at the number of seats, no one else stands a chance of getting in. You know, if you want to vote for anyone else, then you're voting for a coalition of chaos with the Conservatives, because the Conservatives would then take the power because they're the ones that would still have the majority unless you vote Labour and it would be a coalition of chaos with the Conservatives and it was a coalition of chaos when it was the Lib Dem Conservative coalition and that's what you would be voting for if you do not vote Labour. Like I said, you know, you can vote for seats that will take away the Conservatives if you're in a district where Labour really doesn't stand a chance but if there is a district where the Labour does stand a chance, then go vote for Labour. Vote for yourself, you know, vote for workers' rights, vote for the people, vote for £10 an hour living wage. <laughs> Come on. It's fairly obvious that the Conservatives are never even going to get close to that. I mean, the wage hasn't really gone up much <laughs> under the Conservatives. But, yeah, I mean, it's just common sense. And, you know, you might not like Corbyn, but leaders can be replaced, but policies will stand, and it is better for the country than a Conservative Brexit. The Labour Brexit will be the right Brexit for the country. You know, whether you wanted to leave, whether you wanted to stay, the best chance of a good Brexit for everyone is on the Labour. The Conservatives are just going to suddenly rip up Brexit and have it bollocks over the country. So, you know, if that's what you want, if you want to fuck over the country for the next 20 years, because, I mean, it's even if Labour did get a majority after a Conservative Brexit, it's going to be too late. It's going to be a hard and long process to fix the shit that they will be causing, especially with the two-year post-Brexit lead before it even comes to a general election. And then, you know, there'll be a chaos, chaotic Labour because, you know, if by then they would have got rid of Corbyn and then there'll be a middle road person trying to please everyone who's just going to pander to everything and going to be pretty terrible rather than a strong leader he's going to be a pandering terrible leader who sits in the middle road and doesn't have any strong policies either way and <laughs> that's not going to be good for the country so your best bet is to vote for Corbyn vote for a strong leader yes he's a left leader but you know that's going to be good for everyone a left leader not only good for the poor people, but like I said, it leads on to knock-on effects which do affect businesses and do give confidence in businesses and spending in the economy and does boost the economy and create more business and create more jobs and help everyone, whereas a conservative Brexit is going to be zero hours contracts where you'll be lucky to get five hours a week paid like eight pounds an hour at most. Um, <laughs> you know, you're just not going to be able to keep the roof of your head, pay bills or do anything and... You know, it's just going to be a terrible system where you're going to have to pay for your own health care and you're going to have to pay for everything. You know, it's not going to, there's going to be no free rides under the Conservatives. There's going to be, you're going to have to pay for absolutely everything. You know, no free services, nothing. You know, bus passes for the elderly. <coughs> I can see that coming in the future. I mean, you know, it's not a policy. They're going to raise taxes. They're going to raise they're going to screw over the elderly as well, you know. They're keeping strong, they're trying to keep their manifesto as quiet as possible and as low as possible so that people will be shocked when it actually comes to power. Because, you know, they won't have made promises, they will have free reign to fuck over the country, essentially. You know, no limitations, and you don't want a no limitations Conservative Party. You do not want that at all. So, yeah... Go out and vote on July the 8th, is it? July the 15th? I'm not sure the exact date, but go vote. And go vote for primarily Labour, because Labour's the only party that stands a chance of getting in. Even though they were saying, oh, it's going to be completely decimated, it's going to be wiped out, you know, the Lib Dems can take over and all that. No, no, Lib Dems are still down there next to nowhere. 
Labour still as strong as ever. Not really that knocked, you know. Maybe a bit in Wales, maybe a bit in Scotland, but you know, Scotland was to be expected because they're trying to leave. And you know, it's strange they'd vote Conservative when Conservative don't want them to be separate and don't want them to have their own referendum. But maybe that's the point, you know, it's like they want to keep unity so the unity members in Scotland are voting Conservative, but you know, they'd get that under Labour as well. So I said, just vote Labour and be done with this. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the country is going to go downhill under a Conservative rule and, you know, when Corbyn goes, then we're just going to end up with a really, really shitty, unelectable leader. We've got an electable leader under <laughs> Corbyn. We've got policies that matter and strong policies and a strong leader that holds true to them no matter what. So yeah, people should get behind him and stop trying to undermine him and stop, you know, being shit. If they're shit MPs, they should be replaced by people that do support him and are strong, just like him. So, you know, just saying, that would be the smart way, but it's a bit too late for that, considering how short time we have. But, that being said, you should vote Labour, and if Labour stands no chance in your electoral area, vote for whoever will get rid of the Conservatives to get rid of their seats at Labour will take power and you know it won't be a coalition of chaos it will be a leadership of strength and strong stable leadership for the country and not for herself you know because she doesn't care Theresa May she does not care she claims these sound bites but her actions are always contrary to them so yeah it, you know maybe if she did actually live up to all of her hot air and bullshit she might be electable, but she's completely unelectable because she lies so much and her party lies so much and Bojo the Clown lied about Brexit and... Oh my god, how can anyone keep eating all the bullshit and lies and all the sound bites? It's like, no, have some common sense and some dignity in yourself and vote for a party that will actually be good for the country and be good for you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.